I think that liver failure is where something went wrong or maybe you were not taking care of your body correctly and then it quit functioning right. Uh, where your liver stops working from drinking. A disease that affects the liver. What even causes it? The only cause I'm aware of is alcohol abuse. Alcohol, friend or foe. As we all know, our liver is responsible for filtering out the toxins that are inside our body. Alcohol is a toxin. When your liver is exposed to too much damage, you develop scars on your liver. And after so long of those scars forming on your liver, it will eventually shut itself down. Stages of liver damage. Fatty liver. Deposits of fat cause liver enlargement. Liver fibrosis. Scars form on the liver. Then cirrhosis, growth of connective tissue, destroys liver cells. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what can cause liver failure, or cirrhosis. Uh, the most common causes of chronic liver failure, where the liver fails over months to years, include hepatitis B, hepatitis C, long-term alcohol consumption, cirrhosis, and inherited disorder that, can that causes the body to absorb and store too much iron, malnutrition, now the causes of acute liver failure, liver failure, when the liver fails rapidly, are often different. These include acetaminophen overdose, viruses including hepatitis A, B, and C, usually children, reactions to certain prescription and herbal medications, ingestion of poisonous wild mushrooms. Now, here are some symptoms of liver failure. Nausea, loss of appetite, fatigue, and diarrhea. Now, as liver failure progresses, it, uh, the symptoms become more severe and you need more urgent care. You can have jaundice, you can bleed easily, swollen abdomen, mental disorientation or confusion, sleepiness, or eventually you can go into a coma. Now, what do you think of all this? What do you think of cirrhosis? Pretty nasty. Here is a little taste of cirrhosis. As you can tell, his stomach is very swollen. Then you're pretty much contained to a bed because there is nothing they can do for you. If you're lucky, they can give you a new liver, but it isn't always the case. If you look at this picture right here, if you knew that your liver was going to look like that in 20 years, would you quit drinking as a teenager? Absolutely, oh my goodness. This is a tragedy. I would think so. I knew I was going to get it, yeah, but if I didn't think about it, I probably wouldn't stop. Does it affect anyone in your family? Nope. Does liver failure affect, does any of your family have any symptoms of liver failure or cirrhosis? Well, now that you tell me the symptoms, it kind of seems like it because you said that they were nauseous and tired, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, because I never really knew the symptoms of it. Does it affect your life? Actually, yes, it affects my life. My grandpa had a heart attack like 20 years ago, and he had to take heart medication, and which caused cirrhosis of the liver. And actually, I have a cousin who is dying of cirrhosis of the liver right now. Does it affect your life in any way? Yeah. My, um, this is the reason I didn't want to drink. When I was growing up, I had family members who were alcoholics. And I saw what it did to their kids. And I saw what it did to their lives. And I saw what it did to them physically. I had memories of being really small, being afraid, because my grandparents had to call my dad to come yeah. down to their uh, house to get their own. Yeah. He was drinking to be like he was trying to beat them up. And I'm pretty afraid that my dad would have to hurt him and leave to him. And I was near the alcoholic. And then my mom's brother was an alcoholic. And I watched him. And those descriptions don't even really come close to what you really see. 
they swell and retain. It looks like fluid, but what happens is when the liver starts to shut down, the ammonia builds up in the bloodstream. When your ammonia builds up, you get new to people. You don't behave properly. He shot a hole in the wall oh, without my grandfather's care. He threatened to kill my mom. Um, just things that he would normally want to do. Specifically, if he was using whiskey to turn the on, he always drank beer with him. If he drank whiskey, he was just kind of crazy for him. Um, his blood sugar would get way out of control. And then his. Well, his testicles swelled to the point that he was so miserable he just laid on the couch and laid on the ground. His feet were so sore. He he was so sore. All you do is let her sweat pants. They take him to the hospital and try to get someone to get out of the system, and that would give him some relief for a while. I got to see the doctor stand at the foot of his bed and cry because they were sure they couldn't help him and he was going to die. He made a phone call. But then he got home. And I got to stand there and see it. And it's just, I don't want anybody to ever be here. What do you think of that picture right there? I think if anybody's seen this picture, you might want to quit drinking alcohol. Because it, look, it's not a very pleasant picture. I know my liver doesn't look like that. Hopefully not. Because I don't drink alcohol. All right, thank you.